Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's get into your reading. First message is problem solving. Using that big Gemini brain, we have success. So you're gonna have success problem solving. We have an apology, someone could want to apologize to you. We have unhealed, we have spiritual gifts, and we have health. So something could be going on with someone's health, either you or someone around you. Some of you have spiritual gifts that you need to tap into. And you could be healing some part of yourself that has been unhealed. Or maybe this is somebody who wants to apologize to you that's doing this very thing right now. So health, unhealed, spiritual gifts. What else did I say? Success. You're going to have success in some kind of way, which is a good thing. Um, I'm just, I'm saying these messages over to myself so I can try to retain them, y'all, because for some reason, as I'm getting to the latter part of my readings, um, I forgot what I didn't say at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I'm about six readings, seven readings, and that's why. Okay, so somebody is unhealed here. That could be you. I mean, somebody could be struggling with their health right now, to include you, you know. But it says success, so it looks like everything will work out. Somebody's problem solving. Some of you could have gotten a diagnosis recently, or maybe someone around you. And maybe you're just trying to figure out the best way forward, like the best course of action, the best treatment plan, and you're going to have success or someone around you, which is good. Somebody's name could be Penny or Pen Penelope or something like that, something with a P. I mean, or B names. Somebody could be recovering from like drinking too much, like went out clubbing and then they have like a hangover. Some of y'all could have been shopping this weekend. I see somebody shopping or went out clubbing, partying, something. You could have been shopping, looking for an outfit or something to go hang out with your friends. Okay, let's get past present future energy. Past energy. That's way too many. That's way, way, way too many. Let's just take this first one. So we have stillness. It came out in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse. So some of you, well, you haven't been able to sit still. You've been on the move. I want to see why you got stillness. What's the current energy? Justice. Ooh. Something could be going on in a, a legal case. I don't know. Or just karma playing out. Something being made right. Balance being restored to your life. I just heard electrolytes. I'm telling you, somebody was drinking too much or something. I don't know. And it could have been one of those kind of drinks that snuck up on you. You know, it could have felt real light going down, but it was real heavy coming back up. Okay, future energy, we have travel. Yeah. So, you got stillness in reverse. Some of y'all have been on the move. I just heard jet lag. Somebody can have jet lag. Bottom of the deck, we have truth. We have destruction. Releasing your anger, number 16, which is the tower. And we have action. Ooh. Trust, love, and friendship, number 25. So this could have something to do with a lover or a friend. The truth could have came out about something. You could have called somebody out. Mm. Yeah, because of their actions. I don't know, y'all. So what do we have? We have success, truth. I mean, we have success. We have healing, unhealed, apology. So somebody, yeah, somebody did something here. Somebody could be a little bit restless with stillness in reverse. Or somebody could just be very busy right now. So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody is reaching burnout here from doing too much. It could be a Sagittarius, your sister sign. Or some of you are burned out with someone. You're tired of not having peace. Ace of Cups. Yep. So you could be blocking someone's energy out or ignoring them right now. And they could be trying to apologize to you. This is somebody that took you for granted. But you feel like you were beating a dead horse to keep trying to get them to see your point of view and you just kind of left it to fate. And like, okay, it is what it is. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. Could have been over the last month. Why is everything flipping in reverse? So now we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, which is truth in reverse. So the, somebody lied to you. Well, some of you were in the dark about something. You didn't have clarity about something here. Somebody didn't have integrity. Libra, Christ, Gemini. Or you're not talking to someone right now with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Or they're just not telling you what you want to hear. The strength card, Leo energy, yeah. So I do feel like you're holding back from someone. 
Okay, so I'm picking up this energy, Gemini, that for some of you, this is somebody that you kept telling yourself you needed to cut off, but you, you wouldn't do it. You couldn't find the strength to in the past, but now you did. Okay, so what's justice? So basically, this is cause and effect. What they've done to you, you're doing back to them. It might be petty, but that's what it is. We got the Hierophant. There could be a marriage in question here. Both of these represent the institution of marriage or a high level of commitment with a Taurus or a Libra for some of you. You can also be coming into union with someone that you're going to feel like you belong with. Ooh, the magician. Yes. Gemini. Virgo pulled the magician, and y'all both are the magician, ruled by Mercury. We have the stairway to light. Okay, I love this. I feel like the truth has definitely come out about something. Someone could be 22, and then we got the star. So you got the stairway to light and the star. Beautiful. Someone could be born on the 17th or the 22nd. Or be 22. Okay. So you literally have all major. Starting with the justice card. So something is being made right now. The truth about something is coming out. And I also feel like you passed a spiritual test here. This talks about the matrix though. It talks about indoctrination. It talks about playing by the rules. I feel like you did play by the rules with someone. But they didn't do the same. And now you're seeing clearly exactly who this person is. And you are healing. Some of you are manifesting your goals, your dreams right now with the magician being here. This means you have a workable plan. So spirit is saying go for something. This is a green light from spirit to go. And you have this light here leading the way for you. So even if you don't know what you're doing, just follow the light. And the light is usually what makes you feel good. Because things are coming into balance here. But if you are in a legal situation, you will win. I, I don't know what could be going on. But if some of you are in a legal situation, the truth is coming out in court. So with travel, travel is showing up as the death card and the knight of swords. Wow. So Gemini, this is you. Oh, I don't know that I like that message. I don't. Okay. We're not going to fear monger. Um, just be careful traveling, especially driving, especially driving too fast. Be careful. Be very careful. Okay. Especially driving emotionally. Like maybe you're excited about maybe a baby being born or you're excited about something here or maybe even a little bit distraught driving just watch that okay somebody's health might be in question like i said this woman is in the hospital bed here and it, she's technically on her deathbed and she's coming back in this baby because this is about death and rebirth so this is like a woman passed in childbirth i'm not saying this is y'all story so don't get confused i'm just saying that's what the card is and she gave birth to this baby so it's showing you the cycle of life and death that energy coming back hmm yeah, it even says BAM here. So I just watch out for like car accident energy. I, I don't know. Don't drive fast. Because you know, the Knight of Swords doesn't think people he acts. He's very impulsive. He moves very, very fast. So I'm seeing here, just don't drive fast. That's clarifying travel. The Knight of Swords is travel. He's into aviation. Okay. So just be very careful driving. Or if you do have like a little fender bender, do not argue with the other person. Please. Okay. Just keep it cool. Because if you have to go to court or have to have a legal situation, you're going to win. So don't, please don't. I'm begging you. Yeah, we have the five of swords. And this is when you put your foot in your mouth. This is when you act hastily and you regret it. So please don't. Aquarius energy. And then the king of pentacles. Because look, some of y'all, you have a lot of money coming towards you. You have the Midas touch. You're coming into money. You have a promotion here. You have some kind of good news in your finances. But there might be an investment that you have made or will make over the next coming weeks or months or even years for some of you that you might regret initially. But it's going to be a small hiccup, a little small setback. It's temporary because you have all of this abundance coming in for yourself. You're bettering yourself. There's value being added to your life. This could also be someone coming into your life. Who's the king of pentacles? You could be on a Taurus Gemini cusp or you could have a Taurus coming towards you. Or just have Taurus in your chart. Yeah, Page of Swords. I see that as Gemini as well. Very mischievous child in this card <laughs> with the Eight of Cups. Wow. So somebody that you walked away from is watching you. So you could be putting distance between you and someone else and they might be following you or maybe this already happened and they won't let you go. A Pisces, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They could be younger than you. They don't have to be. They're like spying on you, watching you. They're plotting and planning how to get you back. What is this? Yeah, the three of swords. They could have put you in a third party, broke your heart. 
said some mean things to you. Or maybe you said some mean things. I don't know. But you got money coming in. Somebody could be at the laundromat. Went to the laundromat this weekend. Somebody could be thinking about opening their own laundromat. We got the Nine of Cups. Oh, my God. You got wish fulfillment coming in. You're manifesting something here. And the King of Cups. So you're manifesting love and you're manifesting money yeah you got success especially if you do something online or on social media you can have a viral moment on social media or something here king of wands ceo that's what i'm talking about some of you could be traveling for business you have a big business deal coming in i'm seeing a lot of unexpected income you got the high priestess the five of cups and the seven of swords somebody that deceives you feels stupid whoever this person is an aquarius a Scorpio or a Cancer or Pisces. Somebody deceived you. Yeah, you found out the truth about something. And it caused the destruction. It caused the talent moment. Let's get some advice for my Geminis. Somebody could be eating steak and rice and vegetables for dinner. That sounds good. I don't even like steak, but it actually sounds good right now. Or some kind of beef. It doesn't have to be steak. It could even be like lamb chops. I love lamb chops. If you are noticing changes within yourself, it's because you are leaving the old version of yourself behind. You are elevating and shedding unnecessary layers. Old cycles are ending and new beginnings are on the horizon. You deserve this new chapter. Yeah, that's the death card. Death and rebirth. Like I said, it's showing you the cycles of life. One thing is ending, something new is beginning. And it also talks about what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger in course correction. Okay, so... Whatever this is that happened that somebody hid from you, it's a blessing in disguise, y'all. Pay attention. You're being asked to pay close attention to the signs you've been given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help you to see the best move forward in order to live your best life. I'm living my best life. Ain't going back and forth with you. Yeah, somebody does want you to go back and forth with them, like I said. I don't care if you have a car accident or not. It doesn't have to be that. Just know that some of you, somebody could live in an apartment 3A or 3T or 6A, or that could be like a hotel room or something. Somebody could be getting new furniture delivered to their home. I'm sorry, y'all. But well, we have check-in. Yeah, but if even if it's not an accident, just don't argue with anybody right now because I see that can go real bad. So please don't do it. Whether that be that you end up doing something that you regret or it's, it's done to you. And again, I don't fear among all my readings, but I'm seeing very clearly that you need to not argue. Please don't. Wow, I just talked about eating meat for dinner. And look, y'all see that, that red meat he's eating right there? Yeah, somebody could definitely be having like a nice steak dinner. Y'all, what's that day where they say the men get to have steak and BJs? <laughs> Is that coming up soon? So we have check-in. When you think you're... I'm sorry, when you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier, excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance is always so helpful. And I feel like this is you checking in with your emotions before you react to people. I'm going to look up Steak and BJ um, Day because that might be coming up. Because why, why am I talking about that? So we have these pains you feel are messengers. Listen to them. Getting signs, learning messages from spirit. So spirit has been talking to you. We talked about that over here. No, right here. Pay attention. So if this hasn't played out yet, just pay attention. Because I'm telling you right now, look at this. Jump in. This is exactly what you don't need to do in an argument, though. You are you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean and a drop. I know that's right. Stand out. Perspective. Bringing things together. So seeing how valuable you are. And then we have jump in. You're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never all align in just the right way. Sometimes you have to take the leap anyway. This is that time. But y'all, let me look up this date because I it might be significant. Hold on. Okay, so I looked I looked it up. It's actually on March the 14th. Um, the date of <laughs> steak and BJ. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So something. Oh, so they created this as a response to Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay. Wow. So somebody's birthday could be March 14th. You could be dealing with a Pisces or something could be significant about that day, y'all. I don't know. But um, I just thought that was interesting. I, I mean, why would I be thinking about that? Well, some of y'all, y'all might have that going on. Maybe your woman going to surprise you with that. Or maybe, um, you know, that's what your man wants. If you are a feminine, that's what they want from you. Or whether you're a man or a woman. What, whatever y'all into. Y'all know I don't care. I do not care. It ain't my business. But um, that's what I have for you, y'all. 
You could just be going to a nice on a nice dinner date or something. Yeah, look at this. As soon as I said that, nice dinner date. You could be going on a nice dinner date. But anyway, that's what I have for you. I feel like even with stillness here being in reverse, there's something about trimming out your energy might be a little bit erratic. So just make sure that you're not reacting to people, overreacting to people. Like, don't let people bait you into no craziness. The, the Page of Swords did come out, and the Page of Swords does talk about not letting people bait you into silly arguments, okay? Because I definitely feel like somebody's going to try you. Yeah. You have the four swords, look, with the, the nine of wands. Somebody being aggressive, cocky, arrogant, and you just going to have to be like, mm-mm, I can't respond. You might know that you can kick this person's butt, but just don't do it. Because the four swords is avoiding drama, avoiding conflict. All that good stuff. Okay, so just take a chill pill. Try to find a way to relax if you can. Get some rest, because some of you may not be getting proper rest here with stillness in reverse. I kind of feel like somebody's been truly worried about something. And I think that was one of your cards, right? So, I think it was. It could have been Virgo. Y'all, I told y'all I was going to forget. Okay, y'all, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time.